Hi everyone, my name is Briar and I am the Mindset Mama. Thanks so much for coming to the channel today. If this is your first time, welcome. Um, I always forget to say this at the end, so I'm gonna say it right off the bat. Um, if you would like to be notified of new videos when they are posted, um, please hit the subscribe button below so that we can visit more frequently. And as always, the best compliment is a thumbs up or a share of the video. So today we're going to talk about organizing. Um, I know this time of year a lot of people are um, starting to purge and get rid of things. Um, a lot of new items may have come in over the holidays and we're trying to get a fresh start in our houses or our offices and feel um, a little less stressed by the items around us. And for myself, I, I love to organize. I love to um, declutter. It is a hobby of mine. Um, and it started years and years ago. Uh, I wanted my house to feel like a sanctuary. I wanted to be able to come home and walk in the door and feel calm and relaxed. And instead I was coming home and I was opening the closet to put away my coat and every day I would just feel overwhelmed by the amount of stuff inside this closet. So I started there. I started with just our front hall closet. And the lovely thing about um, starting with decluttering and organizing is that when we organize one small space, it motivates us to keep going. We feel the energy shift in that area of our house. Um, it often brings us energy instead of taking energy from us and we get motivated to work on the next thing. So one of the tips that I always tell my clients um, when we're thinking about our physical spaces is to start small. Start really small. It could be just a junk drawer in your kitchen. It could be your or your children's bookcase. It could be just your basket of hats and mitts and scarves. Just start with one small thing. And the second tip is to pick three. Pick three small areas in your house. Start with one. Get motivated by that to move on to the next. And then the third. And then just leave it. Uh, let that simmer and sit for a while. Experience what it feels like to live with those three new areas. Um, and then decide if you're ready to move on to the next stage. And we can do this slowly. Take your time. There's no need to do your entire house at once or even a full room at once or even your entire closet at once, right? Um, just start small, get started, make that small first step and it will motivate you to keep going. Now a couple quick benefits of organizing and, and clearing your physical space. Um, number one is that energy I talked about, having a better energy flow. Number two is that things are easier to tidy up. It becomes a lot faster, so you're saving yourself some time and, and energy in terms of tidying every day. Cleaning becomes easier. You, know, you can vacuum a carpet a lot quicker if there's nothing on it. You don't have to tidy before you vacuum. Um, you know, we all had, I'm sure at some point in our lives, having to clean up before the cleaners came to our house, if you've ever had a cleaner come. Um, and we wanna make sure that that doesn't have to happen, right? That everything is in its place and we can quickly and easily clean our home. And then um, the cleanliness in our air, our air quality is a lot better when things, uh, when we have less things in our house um, and when things are clean and tidy, right? There's no dust accumulation. The air is just cleaner for us to be breathing in every day. And then lastly, the thing that I always remind myself and my clients is that every single item in our home is an item that we have to manage. We have to manage it physically, but we also have to manage it mentally. And that takes a lot of energy, right? Um, you know, when we're thinking about the amount of toys or the amount of clothing or the amount of books or the amount of things, knickknacks and tchotchkes and things that are around our house, every single one of those takes some mental energy to stay stay organized and stay accounted for. And the less we have to do that in my book, the better, right? And um, when we can keep things as simple and as easy as we can, and then we have a lot less stress and a lot less overwhelm. Um, so for me, that's one of the reasons that I like to keep things organized and clutter free. Um, I certainly don't think that we live as minimalist in our house, but we like to think about um, how we can minimize uh, as we go along. So if we bring something into the house, then something has to go. So if we're getting a new book, then we have to choose a book to donate to somebody else. And that's the, the last and final thing is to remember that there's somebody out there that can be using the things that are sitting around in our home, the things that we're no longer using. There's somebody out there who is probably dying um, for, for that 
winter coat or for that extra scarf or for books for their kids, right? So it's important to remember that if things are just sitting around not being used in our home, then there's somebody else that really could be using it. Um, and we can either sell those items or we can donate those items to somebody else. So what I want you guys to do today is to pick at least one or up to three, no more than three, small areas in your house to get started with to start that organizing process. And remember to start small so you don't get overwhelmed, right? And we're going to pull out anything that you're no longer using that somebody else can, can use. We're going to discard any garbage that might be. There are things that aren't in good enough shape to be donated. And then we're going to organize how the things that you have left go back into the space, whether it's on a bookshelf or in a cupboard um, or into your kitchen cabinets. We're going to organize it as it goes back in so that it makes it easier for you to use and easier for you to find the things that you need. So post below what you are going to start with. I'm very curious to know um, what area you decide to begin with. I told you mine, mine what started with the front hall closet and then expanded from there. So post below and let me know what you're going to begin with. And if you have any questions about organizing or simplifying or decluttering, post them below um, so that we can chat about that in the future. So again, um, I am gonna remember today, um, please like, share and subscribe to the videos so that we can uh, chat again soon. Have a great day.